Hey, what is going on, YouTube family? Madden, <sighs> more golden tickets. We're not. I'm not going too crazy today. I'm not going too crazy today. It looks like everything's lagging a little bit. My bad. Hold on, we'll fix this. We don't redo intros. We don't redo anything. We just go with the flow. So we'll get it fixed. I'm, let me close out a bunch, a bunch of garbage. Let's close out a bunch of garbage I got open. I got so much stuff open here. I shouldn't. I shouldn't, but we do. So we're here. We did not get refreshed backs. Very disappointed. Very highly disappointed. But we got two new golden tickets today. And I'm not going to go overly hard, honestly, in this video. Because we have weekly rewards coming out later. But I don't want to miss out for you guys. So we got golden ticket Juju. And Golden Ticket Quincy Wilson. Both very good cards. Both not the best cards at their position. Now Juju, you can compare him to someone like Calvin or Julio. Compares pretty he compares pretty favorably. He's gonna be so much more expensive. Like the one good thing that uh, Mr. Juju has here really is run block. Is 82, like Hulu's is 77, Calvin's is 70, Sterling Sharp 79. So, like, he, he's. Juju's a really good card, but he's not a 2 million, 3 million coin guard. Same thing with Quincy Wilson. I know there was a lot of talk of why is Quincy Wilson's cap higher than Marlon Humphrey? It's because whoever created the card messed up. Because they upgraded his tackle while giving him secure tackler. We know that the tackle rating at this point doesn't matter. He's plus 17 tackle. That's why he's more cap. You know, he's got better man, better zone. Like, he looks he looks better, but he's not going to play any better. Um, his block shed is still super high. His jumping is lower. His catching is lower. He doesn't have out of my way. His pursuit is 10 less. Good card. Not the best card. At all. But we're still gonna we're gonna rip a couple packs for him. We might as well. We might as well. Now I wish we were ripping good packs. <laughs> I don't know why we don't have any in the store. Um, but maybe we'll rip some good packs and you know get 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 a little lucky. Uh, I did, uh, of course, when the content drops, I ripped a couple packs. We pulled a 94 Bruce Matthew or Bruce Smith, like the original legend. So, I mean, that was, it was a good, a good looking pull. It was a good looking pull. But, uh, we're going to need a 99 to be satisfied or like a full ultimate legend or like a big piece for an ultimate legend. Some, something substantial today. Uh, is what's going to make me happy. But in this pack opening this morning, I have zero expectation to actually pull one of these cards. I just don't think it's going to happen. And I don't want to lead you guys on. I can't. Because I know that it's possible to pull golden tickets out of a gold player pack. I see it. You know, I see, see it on my timeline. But, like, for the amount of packs people open for gold player packs, to the amount of golden ticket pulls I see, ratio is pretty bad. While possible, but it's, it's still the, our best chance. It's our best chance to pull one right now. There's no other, like, packs that you can really go in on. Replay packs are just too expensive for what they give you. You know, you get the, the replay player, which can be good. But, like, if you could get a full replay player out of those packs, maybe they're a little more worthwhile. But, since you can't, you know. But we'll have weekend league rewards. It'll be fine. It'll be fun. We're going to make a bunch of coins on that. And then hopefully we get, I don't know if we're getting monthly rewards today, too. Which would be nice, which means that we're going to get three Fire Fantasy Packs. Which would be pretty good. Three Fire Fantasy Packs. 
You guys will enjoy seeing that. Uh, so it could be a very big day. It could be a very, very, very big day. Uh, and if we do get monthlies today as well, and weekly rewards, I'll probably save the monthlies for tomorrow uh, for a video. Just so we don't overload what we have. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense to you guys. I still haven't sold tokens or done any of that stuff. I'm going to start doing it soon. Because if we want to keep getting some of these cards that are dropping, we're going to need coins. And if we don't have coins, we're not going to be able to. And I know you guys are looking at the coin total. You see 7 million coins, right? Plus other cards, stuff to sell, etc. It looks and it feels like a lot. But when these cards are apparently going to be 2 million coins a pop for the most part, those coins go really, really fast. Really, really fast. And uh, it's tricky. It's, it's tricky. It's not, a good, we're, it's not a good spot to be in. We're in a better spot than a lot of people, though. So I'm not going to complain. I would just like more. Um, but I would prefer, above all else, to actually pull the golden tickets for you guys. Now, of course, it makes things cheaper for me. If we pull them as opposed to having to buy them. But just seeing a, a, a poll, like a really, really, really good poll, is, is one of those things that you don't get to do very often. Whether you're on YouTube or Twitch or Mixer or, or just at home by yourself, it doesn't happen very often. So being able to highlight something like that for you guys would be amazing i would love to do it it's probably not happening in this video we've only got a couple more packs left i'm just gonna open uh four more of these guys and then we're done i'm not going below seven i'm not going below seven for these cards uh if we pull them later on that's great if we don't i'm not gonna pick any of them up um, and even if I pulled Juju, if his price was really high, I probably wouldn't pick him up. He looks good, but for his price to other cards, which are very similar, it's just not going to make a lot of sense for me. It's not going to make a lot of sense for you guys unless you are, you know, Steelers or big Juju fan or something. We didn't get nothing. We got nothing. We got nothing can't believe that like there's no other packs for us to pull I can't believe there's no other packs for us to pull uh, that's a points pack a daily pack one replays pack one replays Show you guys, this is a bad idea. You think, 89! We probably lost 20, 25k on that pack instantly. But, I mean, we got a bunch of stuff to sell. We'll have other packs later. It won't be too bad. But again, Quincy Wilson, it looks pretty good. I mean, if he's cheap, that's great. Same thing with Juju. If he's cheap, that's good. But when you realize you can get, like, Calvin or Sterling Sharp for... It's the same card, essentially. Randy Moss, similar card. It just doesn't make a lot of sense to spend that kind of coin. You know, you for the price of what Juju is going to be, I'm sure he's way down here, right? For 3 million coins. Let's just say he stays at 3 million coins. You could pick up a Calvin, a Carmichael, a Sharp, a Julio, a Fitz, a Harrison, an Andre Reed. And still have like a million coins left. Just be smart, guys. Just be smart. Same thing with Quincy Wilson. If his price goes low, take a look at him. You know, if you didn't get Marlon Humphrey yesterday because he was too expensive, Quincy Wilson's an excellent card. But don't forget, there's still cornerback Randy Moss coming. There's still Kyle Fuller coming. And maybe there's another cornerback we 
forgot or don't know of. There's still more. So so don't jump don't jump the ship, please. <laughs>